Today I want to quickly show you how you can run Android Auto on this uh, Android uh, head unit if you have bought one for your Mitsubishi Lancer and while running the Android Auto also charge your phone quickly because uh, this is an issue for this particular uh, tablet and also pretty much for every other car that has built-in Android Auto. Okay, first let me show you the problem with the charging and how to fix it. Uh, then I'm gonna show you how you can install the Android Auto on this particular car. So, click on Android Auto. And now this is a cable that is coming from the tablet. Uh, and now I'm gonna connect my phone to it. So, excuse me for a second. Okay, so let me show you the adapter that I made. Uh, Sorry for the mess, but I've been working on this till uh, very late yesterday. And also, as you can see, I have another project that I'm gonna quick uh, soon show you. The Rockford Fosgate speakers installed. Uh, yeah, but before I show you that, I just wanted to show you that I've tried probably for months because uh, I've been trying to do this for a long time, but you can see all the sorts of adapters that I tried uh, this one came close to working but not quite this one as you can see it has ports for power for and two for data and this one goes to the phone i was kind of hoping that it would work because this would power the phone and some one of those would go to the car but it didn't work and as it turns out this is only for otg so you can hop in a flash drive or a usb keyboard or something like that but you cannot connect it to a computer so yeah and i've also cut some cables these are actually i've cut more than those but those are the only ones that i've kept anyways uh i'm doing this so that you don't have to go through all that and spend all of this money for nothing so basically what the cable looks like is we have this uh power source that i bought from china from aliexpress uh then we connect it to the PD or the power delivery port. This is very important. The cable goes directly to the phone uh, and it charges it quickly. And then for the Android Auto, we have a separate type A connection here. And the important part is we have connected the uh, white and green, which is the data plus and minus to the other cable. And the other cable has been stripped of those I mean the part that goes to the power supply has been stripped of the its data cables and this is possible because of the new USB type C standards which carry data through the power uh, wires too so basically uh, the phone can communicate with the uh, charger without the data cables and you can they can uh, negotiate on what charging speed so this is very cool, uh, but also it means that you must have uh, Type-C to Type-C cable in order for this to work. Otherwise, it won't uh, work. You, you must your phone must support uh, power delivery, and you must have a power delivery uh, power supply. And uh, for here, you just uh, I, I've just. Uh, couple of those cables but I'm gonna probably solder them if if not solder at least uh, isolate them and put them back in the car so hopefully this will, will work for your phone I've seen that not every phone works even though it supports power delivery some pixel phones like the pixel 5 I've read that don't support that but if you have a Samsung I have an S20 and S, uh, S9 and they work so hopefully it also works for you in terms of everything uh, that you're gonna need you're gonna need two cables one is type c to type c uh which uh, i would say is better to support quick charge uh usually says in the box and then one standard usb i bought this type a to type c but i think it doesn't matter as long as it has type a uh, on one side this uh is a charger uh which accepts 12 volts and converts it to a quick charge 3.0 and power delivery. I bought this from bought this from AliExpress. 
Uh, I won't leave a link in the description because these parts there tend to disappear. I don't know why. But you can just search for something like that. Uh, I, when I was buying it, there was like 20 other, the same as those. So should be fine with that. And uh, yeah, other than that, you're gonna need some soldering machine and some duct tape to isolate that. And you should be ready to go. Okay, now I've added the adapter of wired everything. So this uh, power supply, as you can see, goes to the uh, socket, which is usually connected to the uh, cigarette lighter, to the 12 volt, 12 volt socket, also known. Uh, so yeah, this is getting the 12 volts, converting that into a quick charge cable goes through here i duct taped this uh part which is uh all the fuses the other uh usb a goes directly to the cable which goes to the tablet and here's uh, the cable which should go into the phone let me quickly click here on android auto now okay just just a second let me plug that in Okay, so, I don't know if you can see, man, this phone sucks, alright, so, yeah, it's 24 minutes until full charge and it says super fast charging, which is absolutely much better than it was, and, of course, Android Auto is working uh, perfectly, so, yeah. This is quite a, the easy fix, although it took me quite a long time because I didn't know this thing can actually work, so I have to dig in a bit. So hopefully you don't have to do it, and hopefully it works for your phone. And now for the next part, for the Mitsubishi users, or actually anyone else who has uh, such aftermarket uh, head unit, let me show you how you can run Android Auto. Okay, so I'm on my actual tablet, I've shared... Uh, a hotspot and I've connected to it so I, I have internet and uh, I've opened uh, Google Play Store uh, so let me show you what application I've actually uh, downloaded okay let me click on manage so uh, this is actually the launcher that uh, has with all the Mitsubishi logo and stuff like that it's actually quite a good thing and this is the uh, application that I use for uh, the Android Auto is called Head, U Head Unit Re Reloaded em Emulator. So this is uh, actually a paid application, but I think it's like probably like two dollars or something like that. So just install it, and when you open it, you're granted with this. So here we have a bunch of options. You can even uh, do a wireless Android Auto. This is uh, possible on my uh, machine, but this tablet has a very slow network card, so it's uh, it's a bit waggy. But I've done it. It is possible, so you can do that too. Actually, it should be possible even. I don't know if it's possible right now because I'm sharing the internet. But okay, so <laughs> it's not possible. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see in the internet how to do it but yeah it supports that too uh, but the main way is uh, just open that screen and connect your phone through the USB and it will automatically start if it doesn't start you can click here and if it has uh, detected uh, USB you can uh, detect the phone on USB you can select that and launch your Android Auto uh, sometimes you may need to restart it uh, I mean restart your phone uh, if it happened to me like probably two three times in the last like year or something but yeah overall it's pretty stable thing it works uh, perfectly okay so i want to i want to show you how to do the wireless one uh wireless variant because uh i guess some people want to use that um so we need to go to settings um here i'm just gonna say Android Auto, go here, click that, 
and here you make you need to make sure you're in developer mode and after uh, you've done that you can click on the start head unit uh, server and after you've done that uh, when you click your uh, Wi-Fi icon on the head unit reroller yeah, you can't see it but it actually just loaded so yeah that's as simple as that you just need to click that and then go to the Wi-Fi icon make sure you've shared your network and uh, your tablet on the car is connected to it and that's pretty much it it should work out of the box but it's quite laggy I mean I'm just seeing my screen right now on the car it's just uh, going over over the place so if you have a better tablet this should work for you wonders so this is gonna be it for this video hopefully it was helpful for you because uh, I'm well aware that many people are having this problem and I'm so happy that I finally solved mine because uh, it's been pain to have your phone like 20% battery and go home and instead of like being already charged it's already dead so yeah that, that's very cool uh, and yeah if you want to see similar things like that you can subscribe I have a um, few things that are upcoming uh, I'm gonna be changing my speakers which is not that interesting I guess I got I, I'm gonna be going to bucket seats uh, I'm gonna be installing a downpipe I'm gonna be making a video how to tune your car because uh, uh, I've done a remap of myself on my car, managed to raise the horsepower by like 40 on the wheels, which is very cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of benchmarks and stuff like that in the future, uh, now that I can remap it and tune it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So if you wanna see that, you can subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.